The New York Knicks select. Yeah. Okay. Big Benz. Yeah. Bitch, I know. Spend a lot of time on cash and I need a road just to drive in the snow. Come from New York, so my heart had been cold. Let's get into the best budget team that you can get for under 100K right now. So starting at the point guard, I always think you need a good point guard in order to play this game. So I think that you start with my man's Reggie Diaz. And the reason why you start with Reggie Diaz is because he's 6'7". He's got great defensive skills and can shoot a little bit. So you're going to start Reggie at the 1. I also think that any good team constructed ever in 2K has to have a good point guard and a good center. So at my center position, I am going to get my man DeMarcus Cousins, and he's going for about 24 KMT. Regis Diaz gives you for about like 7.6, 7.7. I think you get him at about 7K if you really snipe him for like five minutes, you'll be fine. So that right there has us at about 31 KMT already. At my power forward position, I'm going to go with someone that's kind of crazy. A lot of people don't talk about him. He's better at the small forward, but it is going to be Aleski Poshevsky. I do not know how to say his name, so I apologize if that. He's at about 10K MT right now, so that's about 41K on our starting lineup so far. At my small forward position, I'm going to have to go with my man that just came out in the Origin set, and that is my man. Nicholas Platoon also going for about that 10k mark. So that puts us at about 51k. I actually did get a less key for a snipes quote unquote. So he's at 85 when I got him. So about 50k is where we're at right now. And at my shooting guard, I'm gonna have to go with my man Gerald Wallace. So Gerald Wallace comes in with defensive badges. Gives you a little bit of shooting. This guy is low key a monster. It's coming only at 8K MT. So, to finish off our bench, we're going to have at least 40K to play around with. We're at like that 58, 59K mark just for our starting lineup. At the backup one, you guys know him. Y'all love him. I can't say his name, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But it's my man Duara at my backup point guard. He's 6-7, goes crazy. I used him in limited this past weekend to get the ring. Bro, bro, this guy goes sick. And he only is about 3 KMT. You could actually get him for probably 2.5, 2K if you really wanted to. So that has us at the 60 KMT mark right now. Starting at my shooting, or my backup shooting guard, will I say, it's going to be Peja Stuakovich. Again, I, can you tell, like big guards, big wings, and kind of cheesy cards really at this point in the game. Peja is 6'8 or 6'9 I think at the shooting guard position. He goes for about 8 KMC, shoots lights out. You gotta get him for the backup guys. Coming in at my small forward four, still great value is going to be my man, Danny Ferry. Now, if you know anything about Danny Ferry from last year, his card was nearly impossible to get. Now he's got a Galaxy Opal version. I'm waiting for his Dark Matter version. He's probably going to be one of the best budget point uh, small forwards in the game once they do get his Dark Matter. But for right now, his Galaxy Opal goes crazy for 8K MT. You can't go wrong with Danny Ferry at the back up small forward. At the power forward, guys, you're really going to have to think about this one. I still think that Jack Sigma is pretty good at the backup power forward. Some people would argue that there are better power forwards in the game right now. I think Sigma does the job. He goes for about that 8K MC mark. So right now you got 68, 76, uh, and 84. Doing that quick math real quick. And then to round out our bench unit is going to be another Origins player. Serge Ibaka. So you could probably get him for about 6.5k, 7k max. 
Uh, so that gets us at about that 92 to 93 KMT mark once this is all set and done. If I had extra MT, what would I do with this team? Is probably try to switch out Reggie Diaz for some Dark Matter um, point guard, maybe Larry Johnson or Danny Granger. I just didn't have the budget to play to make it under 100K without playing some corners. So let me know what y'all think about this team, guys. Do y'all rock with this team? Can y'all hit the unlimited streets with this team? Yeah? No? Maybe so? Let me know down below, guys. It's Coach Hobo signing out. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.